as you may already be able to tell through the thumbnail that today's going to be a magic opening once again i am in the process of putting dj's bullions into early retirement by buying out all of his old vintage products whether it be magic or Yu-Gi-Oh. and uh you know what let's just show you what we got today we might be splitting this video up into two sections because this is a lot of cards and while I love opening tons and tons and tons of cards. This is going to be an insane amount of price editing for me. So we'll see how long this takes and whether or not there is going to be a part two to this. So first, you can probably see that there's some decent stuff like the Smillstone, the Skate of Phyrexia. Uh, I've only priced out the top cards of each of these and a couple of them basically paid for almost everything so i'm really excited to see what we have in these today and um like i said we have our goodest boy me but yeah let's see let's see what dj's bullion has had in his old vintage shop from way way back in the day apparently it's a shop that was around about 10 years ago and man him Pulling these cards in and out of these sleeves really gave me some anxiety issues. <laughs> but to start off, we have this beautiful millstone. Uh, once again, I might be keeping some of these, but... Uh, oh, that's right. I did promise Sammy that I was going to put a historic deck together. But we're going to have to do a lot of rule searching and figuring out what's legal, what we can use, and have a lot of fun with these vintage cards with some magic games. But to start, we have this millstone, and I'm going to try and go at least uh, slow enough to where I can get some good prices on these. There's going to be a bunch of lands. But even some of, if I remember correctly, some of like the snow-covered like snow -covered plains and snow-covered swamps from back in the day might actually be worth a little bit of money. So I'm even going to actually have to go through and check every single card in these, including the lands, because hey, you never know, it might be worth something. Mind Bomb. 3 damage to each player. All players may discard up to 3 cards of their choice from their hands. Each card a player discards in this manner prevents 1 damage to that player from Mind Bomb. Interesting. Fun commander. Possible? Maybe? 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 We have Ernhan Jin. During your upkeep, target non wall creature. Forest walk. Interesting. Okay. Uh, thought lace. Changes color of one card uh, hmm, to blue. Interesting. And then we have stuff like this beautiful Aladdin's ring. Uh, I think this is revised. Um, yeah, because I think 4th edition has the date at the bottom. Like... So, but beautiful mountains, mountain, island, forest. I mean, regardless, this artwork is just beautiful. Thrall wizard, common, a summon thrall, evaporate, cyclopean mummy. Gabriel Angel Fire gains one of the following abilities to your next upkeep flying first strike trample or rampage interesting put him off to the side silent attendant oh, tap to gain one life for all of my magic folks Please let me know what's broken, what's expensive. I'm going to do a lot of research on all of these cards, but if any of you guys see something that I'm like completely oblivious, which is going to be 99% of this, please let me know in the comments because I'm flying blind on this one, but I love vintage, so we're going to have fun today. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Nightmare. Or Graders. I think that is Arabian Nights. Pradesh Gypsies, which these days would be called Romani. Remember, Gypsies is slang. Mog Flunkies, Dark Pact. See, I love old artwork like this. 
uh, Rakelite? Rakelite? Poly Artifact. That's something new. I haven't seen... Well, not new, obviously. Prevent wind damage. Oh, that's cool. Nifty. We have a Fire Drake. I love my dragons. One, two. Interesting. We have a Dead Right. You know, that's actually a lot of text for a magic card. Hmm. You know, maybe Yu-Gi-Oh players really don't have a whole lot of room for talk when it comes to vintage uh, Magic the Gathering before they started doing all the keywords. You got Diseased Vermin. And that just looks cool as hell. Draconian Silex. Uh, to regenerate target creature. That could be broken. Now, that's also the other problem with magic cards. I'll, I'll, just, just like Yu-Gi-Oh! Anything has the possibility to just be absolutely broken for the most part. Hands, but only when attacking. Any wall blocking battering ram is destroyed. Walls destroyed this way deal their damage before dying. Interesting. Huh. Okay. So pack one had some pretty cool stuff. I'm really interested to see how much that millstone is worth. I believe this gate to Phyrexia was another one that was about like 50 or 60 dollars. Uh, oh. There's... Oh. There's something in a... There's a couple of... Okay, there's a couple of sleeve cards in here. Alright, so we have gate to Phyrexia. I know a lot of Phyrexian cards are doing pretty well right now. Wait. Is this really $75? Gaia's Avenger. I know Gaia's Cradle is insane. Gaia's Cradle is like two or three hundred dollars, but anything, look, I love anything that has stars for power and toughness. It's usually pretty broken. Interesting. Okay, so we have a Gaia's Adventure. We have Circle of Protection Black. I believe I have all of the Circle of Protections. I got black, blue, red, green. Uh, from various. That's Holy Light. Okay, non-white creature gets 1-1, one, one, negative 1-1. One, one. We have Spitting Slug. And City of Shadows. So hold on. He said he had priced out some of these cards. Once again, if that one's 60, this one's 75. Phyrexia, I think, was 50, or the Millstone was 50. Like, between the three of these cards, that pays for absolutely everything that I bought uh, in DJ's lots. Wow, okay. And then we have R Revaka? Revaka? Revaka, Wizard Savant. He deals two damage to target creature player, does not untap during next untap phase. Interesting. Infernal Darkness. Such a cute, demonic-looking card. We got Riptide. All tap. All blue creatures become tapped. That's kind of mean. Demonic Horde. Belwar Stone. And all of these cards are like light play, near mint. I don't think I've really any, any seen anything mod play or damaged. Um, I believe this was the Mirage set. Hibis of the Scale. Paradise Gypsies again. We have a Jester's Mask. Okay. And then, and then, and then there's that. <laughs> Swamp, Swamp, Plains, Plains, Browse. Look at the top five of your library, put one to excavate. Banish the rest from the game, interesting. Or exile, for you guys. Thelonite Druid. Visions, well, aren't you pretty? Wand of Ith. Also another one that just looks ridiculous. Look at one card at random from target player's hand. Yo, you get to rip. Oh, it's a hand rip. Okay, that 
So hand reps in Yu-Gi-Oh are absolutely busted. Anything that you can do to reduce the hand size, get rid of resources, anything like that is absolutely busted in Yu-Gi-Oh and everybody hates it. Because we don't have resources outside of life and the uh, individual cards that we have in our, our uh, draws. So it's really funny to see stuff like that because man, we got Zenic Poltergeist. Target non-artifact creature becomes an artifact creature with power and toughness equal to its casting cost. Hmm. Uh, next upkeep. Well, it's not bad. Could be useful. Want to swing in for some final damage? Uh, Svilunite uh, Temple? Hmm. Interesting. Conquer, gain control of target land. That's gotta be, that's gotta be illegal. There's no way that's legal. Draw a card at the beginning of the upkeep. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, no. Hmm. Draw power is always good. Angelic blessing. Hmm. Do three and flying. Mm -hmm -hmm. We have Path of Peace. Interesting. Armored Pegasus. We got a one two flying. Shivan Dragon. Okay. Five five flying. We have weak stone. All attacking creatures lose one, one negative one zero. Huh. Less than one deal, no damage. I mean, makes sense. We have another gestures mask. Forest. Snow covered swamp. See, this is what I was talking about. The snow covered swamps. I wonder how much that is. We'll have to take a look. We got lightning blow. Draw a card at the beginning of their turns. Oh, oh, it's instant, it's not enchantment. Okay, I was gonna like that would be really nice if that was an enchantment. The blood of the martyr. Damage done to any number of creatures to yourself instead. Oh, oh, okay, that's a very much like a, a Yugi card. Uh, carnivorous plant. We got four five wall. Tsunami. All islands in play are destroyed. That is a go screw yourself blue card. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. Uh, apparently, in commander games, uh, land destruction is is kind of evil, looked down upon, BMing. But um, yo, if it's four, it's three v one, and and I'm I'm on the downside, we all going down together. We're gonna make the game an hour longer because. I ain't going down like that. We got Chandler. Round. It's black, blue. Interesting. Exorcist. Another swamp. 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 Plains. Plains. Coral reef. Coral. Joven's Ferrets. Shout out to uh, Ferret Rescue or uh, Ferret uh, Pirate Software Ferret Rescue. Joven's Ferrets. Interesting. Island Fish Jasconius. Does not untap during your untap phase. Uh, uh, huh. You can untap. Oh, interesting. Whoa, Wall of Shadows. Another mountain. Another mountain, another island, another island, another forest, and strong arm tactics. Each player discards a card from his or her hand, and each player who didn't discard a creature card this way loses four life. That's kind of rude. And Shimian Night Stalker. Okay. Hollow Trees. Storage counter. Huh, okay. That's kind of cool too. And another Gabriel Angel Fire. Hmm. 
All right, we got Jendor's saddlebags, swamp, unlikely alliance. What is the one with the flag? Legions? No, that's the one with like the short so, uh, shield and spears. Oh, I don't know. Unlikely alliance, swamp, swamp, plains. Soraya the Falconer. All Falcons get 1-1. One, one. Go get your birdies. Channel. More amazing vintage artwork. Mountain. Mountain. Island. Island. Forest. Forest. Starting to see a pattern here. And then what do we have here? Timberline Ridge. Red Greenland. Any depletion counters on Timberline does not untap during untap. At the beginning of your untap, remove a depletion counter. Uh, either add red or add green. Huh. That's uh, interesting. We got a skull catapult. Avalanche. Hint of insanity. Another target player reveals his or her hand. They loved looking at other people's cards. Wow. Interesting. So this would be no good in Commander. Absolutely no good in Commander because nothing would be the same. Same card. Hey, we got an unhinged. We have foul play. The silver border cards that people are like, they're not real cards. Uh, but really cool, fun stuff. Stupid stuff like rip up your card, throw it in the air, and whatever pieces land on other cards are immediately like destroyed or something like that. But, you know, it's stuff like you have to waste a card. Uh... Goblin Sappers. Clay Pigeon. Okay, we got another Unhinged. This is one that I haven't seen before. Blessed Wine. Heaven's Gate. Paradise Gypsies. So that's going to be the third one of those. We have another, we have a second Snow Covered Swamp. Cooperation, erosion. Wow, target land is destroyed. Huh. Also a mean card. Banshee. X amount of damage half to me and half rounded down to any one target. Ugh. No thanks. Uh, living lands. All forests become 1-1 one, one creatures. Cannot be tapped for mana of the turn they come into play. Eh, that's a nice limit, I guess. Barrage of Urborg. First strike when attacking. Nice. And another Chandler. I believe he would be number two. And we got Balduvian dead. Target summon card in your graveyard from the game to put a graveyard, a graveborn token into play. 3 1 black, red, attack to turn it. Uh, okay, haste. Interesting. This one, if it was. Uh, not alpha, but if it was the first version of this, this would be another $70 to $80 card, I believe. Um, but. Alas, I think this one's like a couple of dollars at least. Yeah, we got Lord of the Pit. Swamp. 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 I'll have all the swamps I'll ever need, like I don't already. Plains. Hazeldur the Abbot. Uh, tap to redirect Hazeldur the Abbot. X damage any... Damage still to any white creature you control. Oh. Sea Sprite. Flying protection from red. We got White Knight. Bottle of Suleiman. Mountain. Mountain. Island. Island. Forest. Hey, remember what happened last time? It usually is some kind of interesting land card after this. Hey! 
Starting to see a pattern here. We got School of the Unseen. Nifty little purple border around that the artwork there. Wonder if that's worth anything. We got Resorian Badger. Goblin Shrine. And a holographic confessor. Interesting. I wonder how much he's worth. Whenever a player discards from his or her hand, you may gain one life. Oh. That is kind of nice. Ross Giant. Scrib Sprites. One one flying. Okay. A mole worm. Will this choose not to untap stuff? Oh, it keeps it keeps something tapped. That's nice. Uh Drafness? Drafness restoration. Take any number of artifacts from your choice of target player's graveyard and place them on top of that player's library in any order. Hmm. Surveying elves? Target enchanted land is destroyed. That's nice. Elvish bard. All creatures able to block Elvish bard do so. Is that menace? If this, or goad, if this forces a creature to block more atta attackers than allowed, defending player assigns the creature to block as many of those attackers as allowed. Huh. And I think this is our third or fourth Chandler, so we almost have a full play set of him. And Vivictus Asmadi. Hmm. And then Junun Ifrit. Okay. Remember, guys, I have no idea what I'm looking at here outside of maybe a few sets. And even that, my, my knowledge is completely limited. I know way more about Yu-Gi-Oh than I'll ever know more about Magic. But I'm looking to learn, obviously. I have clients that play Commander. I have clients that play oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. I have clients that want to get into Lorcana. Ah. <sighs> And Viserid Drone. Latinam's Legacy. Swamp. 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 <laughs> plains, Plains. Forest, Forest. Oh, oh, no, no, no forest over there. Okay. Uh, we have Deep Spawn. I actually used to have this one a long, long time ago. Uh, the first time I ever played Magic, I actually used to own this card. That's funny. What does he do? We got we got trample six six during your upkeep. Take two cards from the top of your library and put them into your graveyard or destroy deep spawn. May not be target of spells or effects till the end of the turn. Does not untap as normal during your next untaps phase. If deep spawn is un untapped, tap it. Huh. That's right. That's why I liked him. He couldn't be target of uh, spells or abilities. All right, and then a mountain, and a mountain, and an island, and another island, and the Thalid Devourer. Oh, fungus. Interesting. You don't have to pay to remove anything for its ability effects. Okay, we got forest, shambling swarm. Distribute three, negative one, negative one counters among one, two, or three target creatures. I mean, if it kills them, it doesn't matter. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Hydrate. That's right. I'm peer pressuring you to take care of yourself because I'm your older brother. And at this point, yes, chances are I'm older than you. So I'm going to older brother you. Hydrate. Peer pressure. Nentuko Shade. K Takahashi. Goblin Patrol. Echo. Ooh. The Say's Ring. Hmm. Mind Twist. One doesn't have enough cards in hand. Entire hand is discarded. Oh. Just, man, you just make somebody chunk their entire hand. Fish liver oil. Island walk. 
a third or fourth jester's mask another forest another snow covered swamp so that's at least three snow covered swamps hopefully they're all in really good condition and are probably worth something we got a four or five carnivorous plant uh Tividar's crusade all goblins are destroyed oh that's so funny uh wow man nobody ever expects the inquisition another soraya the falconer a leo pile mm -hmm. and ghost ship huh nice and i always found stuff like this to be very interesting two cards in one because if i remember correctly it's one of those either or situations it's not like you can actually play both or can you pay for both effects i don't know but remember when i brought it out the first time stand on business deliver these hands and then we have ebon praetor example first strike during upkeep negative two negative two on ebon praetor goblin rock sled swamp 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 plains plains and revica revica wizard savant to damage the target creature or player does not untap during your next untap phase you uh, jotul worm reach blocking creature assigned to jotul beyond the first it gets negative two negative one till end of turn Ugh. Jewel bird. Well, isn't that pretty? I think that's another Arabian Nights. Wait, remove jeweled bird from your deck before playing, if not playing for ante. Oh, I'm gonna have to look that up. Draw a card, put your contribution to the ante into your graveyard and replace it with jeweled bird. I don't know what the anti rule is. We're gonna have to look at that. Living wall. Counts as a wall. Pay one to regenerate. And right, we got mountain. Island. Island. Forest. Forest. Run, forest, run. And a minion of Tevesh Zat. Zat. During your upkeep, pay two black, or minion deals two damage to you. Oh, man. These cards were not nice back in the day. Shatterstorm. Aha! All artifacts in play are buried. Another, another board wipe, but for artifacts, I am a fan. Hildoran Frostbeast. Destroy all creatures blocking or blocked by Frostbeast. That's cool. Hydromorph Gull. If there's any way you can give him indestructible and it's either, what is it, Goat or Menace? That'd be pretty mean. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Hydromorph Gull. I already read that one. Tower of Sparks. Knight of Valor. Linking. Martyr's Cry. Urza's. Hey, it's always nice to see Urza's stuff. Okay. I know there's more Urza's stuff. There's Urza's towers. There's Urza's all kinds of stuff in these in these packs. So we'll hopefully get there. Uh, Shoku Endbringer. Johan. Brian Hag. Elven Liar. Grape Shot Catapult. Alright, we got Scarwood Hag. Target, uh, target creature gains Forest Walk. Target creature loses Forest Walk. Okay, interesting. Daughter of Autumn. Disrupt. So it's counter target spell plus draw a card. That's kind of nice. Sunken City. 
Swamp. 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 Plains. Plains. Oh, another coral reef. Okay, that'll be number two of those. Gargantuan gorilla. Water elemental. Hey, I have a fire elemental. Lost soul. 2-1 swamp walk. Is is a uh, is swamp plains and like forest walk like even legal these days? Like, is that a mechanic that's even allowed? We got mountain, mountain, island, forest, and Acathian skirmishers. Band first strike. Oh, nice. I'll get first strike. Ravikian Vampire. Oasis. Interesting. Limdul's Paladin. Zero three trample. Interesting zero for that trample. Oh. He gets plus six, plus three until end of turn if he gets blocked. I see. Sanctum Custodian. Davenant Archer. Hidden Path. All green creatures gain forest walk. That'd be nice. Zombie Master. All zombies in play gain swamp walk. And regenerate. Wow, see, and there's Urza's Mine. So we have two Urza's cards so far. Uh, looks like it's 4th edition. We got Forest. And Clockwork Avian. Uh, I believe they get one, one, uh, one counters on there. Yeah. And you have to remove counters as you attack with it, I believe. We got Miracle Worker. Oh, that's nice. He gets rid of stuff on yours. And Shivan Dragon. Man. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna finish cooking through the rest of these cards. We don't have a whole lot left to go. I'm having a great time. Ergastonian tree folk. Alright. Argathonian oh, tree folk. Now that I can talk. Swamp. Swamp, swamp, plains, plains, forest, oh no, psionic entity, deals two damage to target creature player and three damage to itself, oh god he just kills himself, Dillon's curse, loot creatures do not untap as normal during their controller's untap phase, oh, Oh. Forget the hive. What do we have here? It creates one giant wasp with one one flying creature. Represents wasp with tokens, making sure to indicate when each wasp is ta tapped. Wasps can't attack during the turn created. Uh, treat wasps like artifact creatures in every way except that they are removed from the game entirely if they ever leave play. If the hive is destroyed, the wasp must still be killed individually. Oh, that's cool. And it's five. Ugh, but it's only it's five to create one giant wasp. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe if you could get something to reduce the Cost of activated abilities or colorless? I don't know. Mountain, mountain, island, island, forest, and strength of lunacy. Two one and protection from white. Katar's wrath. Destroy all creatures. They can't be regenerated. Ooh. And threshold. Instead, destroy all creatures and put two one one white spirit creature tokens with flying into play. 
creatures destroyed this way can't be regenerated. If seven or more cards are in your graveyard. Okay, so hold this until you get seven in the graveyard, smack everybody out, and then and then put two oh, man. If you have nothing on the field, nice. Destroy target permanent or return target island to owner's hand. Enchantments on target land are destroyed. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. We got Ghostly Flame. Both black and red permanent spells are considered colorless sources of damage. I'm not sure what that would work in conjunction with, but it's obviously got something it works with. Uh, gain one life when a creature is put in the graveyard from play. Only once each time a creature is put into the graveyard. Okay. Armageddon Clock. Put one counter on Armageddon Clock during each of your upkeeps. At the end of your upkeep, each player takes damage equal to the number of counters on the clock. Ooh. Any player may spend four during any upkeep to remove a counter. Hmm. Also mean. <laughs> Refracted Image. Reveal a card in your hand, then we put that card into play if it has the same name as a permanent in play. Hey, that's useful in regular matches outside of Commander. Findhorn Bow. Okay. Horse. Wall of Ice. Festival. May not declare attack this turn. Play during opponent's upkeep phase. That is a fantastic going first card. But see, and I'm thinking in Yu-Gi-Oh terms. You actually have a few rounds, so you would save that. Oh, nice, okay. People of the Woods. The star below represents the number of fours controlled by People of the Woods controller. Mmm. That could be a pretty big wall on the green side. And it has a Dura the, the Abbot. Oh. Delif's Cone. If target creature you control attacks and is not blocked, you may choose to gain its power in life. If you do so, it deals no damage to opponent this turn. Eh. But that's zero. That's literally zero cost. You just get to throw an artifact on the field. This is fantastic for going first. That is amazing for going first. Yes, you can't attack in the first round because of summoning sickness, but if they don't have anything on the field and you can just swing in, you can either go for damage or go for life. That's And if you have cards that also trigger when you gain life, I could see how that'd be pretty useful. All right, we got Beast Walkers. Banding until end of turn. And it is banding, if anything applies to that card, it also applies to anybody that attacks with it. I don't know. All right, Mammoth Harness. Akathian Lieutenant. Wall of Shields. Mountain. Mountain. Island. Island again. Forest. Swamp. Swamp. Plains. 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 Oh my god, there's a lot of land in this one. To get to the Thrall Wizard. Count as a target black spell. If caster of target spell does not pay an additional black or three colorless. Can play it as an interrupt. That's kind of nice. Hey, and there's Urza's power plant. So we got the tower, we got the power plant, and I forgot, I think it's Urza's mine. I forgot what the first one was. Oh boy. We we might, I hope there's the whole Urza set in there. That would be, uh, there would be nuts if I just wound up with a full set of Urza stuff just by buying this. Uh, world, uh, world word of blasting. Huh. That's kind of fun. We got... Heavy Ballista. There we go. We got Knight of the Hokey Pokey. Ah. Uh, it's first strike 2-2, two, two, but you pay one and one color, one white, one color list to do the Hokey Pokey. Stand up, wiggle your butt, raise your hands above your head, shake them wildly as you rotate 360 degrees. 
Prevent all damage to Knight of the Hokey Pokey from any one source. You know, if nobody ever wants to let that be legal, they can just kiss my ass because anytime that you get to do the Hokey Pokey in the middle of a fucking card game, I say it's worth it for whatever the benefit of the card is. Just let them have it, man. Like, just let them have some fun. Do the damn Hokey Pokey and turn yourself about. Alright, we got Goblin Ski Patrol. Instill energy. Target creature can attack the turn. Oh, haste. Uh, zero. During your turn, untap target creature. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so. Nice. That's actually kind of nifty. That would be definitely number four of the gypsies. Goblin Artisans. I believe that is a playset now of Angel Fire. Ashen Ghoul. Black with Haste, interesting. Whippoorwill. Forgotten Lore. Huh. The mind games with your graveyard. Jairus the Leon and Titan. He's a cat giant legend. Oh boy, I might have to make a cat deck just for shits and giggles. Uh, whenever Jareth Leon and Titan blocks, it gets 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, that's nasty. It becomes a, a freaking 11-14. Wow. Protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. That is... Fun. And then we have Joven. Kovikian Plague. Is that it on that one? Yeah. Unglued, unhinged. I think actually I think this might be unglued. I might, I was probably wrong about unhinged. But we have a double take. Let's see, choose another player, draw two cards now, and draw an additional two next two cards at the beginning of the next game with that player. Okay, that's silly. That is kind of silly. We got Swamp. 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 Planes. Planes. Slight of Mind. Change the text of the target spell or target permanent by replacing all occurrences of one color word with another. For example, you may change counters black to counters blue spells. Slight of mind cannot change mana symbols. Change the text. Okay, so for... Oh, for ability cost. Interesting. Be like, nope. Actually, you have to... No, you actually have to have red to cast that. Sorry. I think... Man, that's weird. Hailstorm. Huh, that's kind of double blade, double, huh. double edged knife there. You got Wind Spirit. Cannot be blocked by only one creature. Okay. Ebony Horse. That's pretty cool, actually. You're like, ha ha ha, you have to defend. And then, oops, just kidding. Now they are stuck into, into the target that they were trying to block, and there's nothing you can do about it. Forest and spoils of war. Workish captain. Siphon soul. Fun. Scarwood Goblins. Hmm. More Urzas. Now we have Urzas Armor. Okay. Mob Justice. Worms of the Earth. Oh, no new land may be brought into play. Ouch. Tracker. Great Defender. Black Mana Battery. Another Wall of Ice. Goblins of the Florg. 
feral salad. If we need sing gear. Oh. Up the casting cost of white and green. And bog rats. This one is Yoshin Soldier. Yes. I had to wrestle with that one. Here we got Order of the White Shield. Good old protection from black. Swamp. Island. Island. Forest. Mountain. Swamp. And Flying Men. We got Swamp. Jovin's Tools. We got Jovin. Now we have Jovin's Tools. Was he a thief? Is Jovin a thief? It definitely looks like these tools. Jeldoran Phalanx. Yeah, Banding and First Strike. Reprisal. Battle of Wits. If you have 200 or more cards in your library, you win the game. Oh my god, that's so stupid. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna put this one over here. Primordial ooze. Interesting. Yes, I've said interesting a lot in this one. <laughs> Jeldorian Frostbeast. End of combat. Destroy all creatures blocking or blocked by Frostbeast. Oh, right, right, right. I got one of those before. Then we got good old Giant Strength. The Govian Leviathan. 3-3 three, three Island Walk. Primal Order. On basic land here, she controls interesting. Yes, I'll stop. I swear, I swear, I swear. Homerage Shaman. Tap target green creature. Nice. Lotnam's Legacy. Hmm. Girk Armalist. Yes, I believe that's Legions. Haste. Turn target face down creature you control face up at the end of the turn, sacrifice it. I wonder why. Rocket launcher. Who doesn't love a good rocket launcher? This one's a little rough, but we got a metamorphosis. A fourth or fifth Jester's Mask now. Phyrexian gobl uh, Gremlins. Carnivorous Plants. Angry Mob. Oh. Trample during your turn. The stars below are both equal to the total number of swamps all opponents control. During other players' turn, zero. So it's either 2-2 two, two or a 2 or something ridiculous. Goblin Hero. Marholt Else Dragon. Rampage 1. Interesting. I wonder what that is. Delif's Cube. I think there is another Delif's artifact in these somewhere. Argathonian Pixies. Cannot be blocked by artifact creatures. Hmm. And planes. And planes. Well. Lon's Chant. Yeah, Swamp, 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 Plains, Route. Here we got an enchantment. This one I haven't seen yet. During your upkeep, pay two white or destroyed trout before a spell that requires black as part of its casting cost may be cast, or an ability that requires black as part of its activation cost may be played. The controller of the spell or ability sacrifices a swamp for each black in the spell's casting cost or the ability's activation. Ooh. Uh, that's a go suck it drought. Man, uh, that that's like kiss my ass black players. Another channel. Beautiful. Acathian Phalanx, another Acathian card. A secondary Clockwork Avian. Mountain. Mountain. Island. Island. Forest. Forest. 
Cyclopean Mummy. If mummy is placed in the graveyard from play, remove it from the game. Oh, ow. Urza's Tower. There it is. I knew there was an Urza's Tower in here somewhere. So we have at least four or five Urza's cards. That's just fun. Add one colorless mana to your mana pool, like all the other Urza stuff. Iron Claw Curse. And another Urza's Tower. Is that a different artwork? It is. And it looks like they're from the same... Okay. Well. Future me, have fun with that one. Congregate. That's nice. Two life for each creep creature in play. Wow. Goblin Raider. We have Charm School. Oh, another uh, unglued. Choose color and balance Charm School on your head. Prevent all damage to you of the chosen color. If Charm School falls off your head, sacrifice Charm School. Another fun one. Battle Cry. Floral Spoozum. This would have went fantastic in my white artifact deck. It was a Leonin artifact deck that basically locked down anything. You could no nobody could attack, but I would do direct damage by tapping for for artifact damage. It was it was fun. Floral Spoozum. Why does that sound so... If Floral Spuzzum attacks an opponent and is not blocked, then Floral Spuzzum may choose to destroy a target artifact under that opponent's control and deal no damage. Hmm. And a fifth or sixth card of that one. And we have Rock Hydra. Okay. Each point of damage... Hydra suffers kills one head unless the controller spends one red on it per head. During controller's upkeep, new heads may be grown for three red apiece. Hmm. Counterspell. Hey. I wonder if this is like one of the original counterspell arts, because... Hey, girl. Giant shark. Land leeches. Hakeem Lore Weaver. Arcades Seboth. Summon Elder Dragon Legend. 7-7 seven, seven flying. As long as they are not attacking, untap creatures you control get 0 plus 2. During your upkeep, pay 1 white, green, blue, or berry. Sabbath. Plus 0 plus 1 to so end of turn for 1 white. And last but not least, we have Gloom. Wow, white spells cost an additional three to cast. Man, 